coming up on tomorrow's teachings. Now! You're getting a spanking. Oh! Oh! You're lucky I'm cooking you like a chicken! Ah, get the stick out of my face! Ah. Hold that, hold that chicken still! <laughs> Oh boy, we got ourselves a new Darman ripoff channel. In case you don't know, I love these channels to death. And they are the greatest content on YouTube ever. And anyone who disagrees with me is wrong. And yeah, today we're going to be looking at a new Darman ripoff channel that goes by the name of Tomorrow's Teachings. And it's going to be great. This video is great. So you just have to watch it. So the title of this masterpiece of a video is Girl Turns Into a Chicken, You Won't Believe It. And I just gotta say, that title alone is just very enthralling. I'm very curious to know what happens in this video. So let's get right into this. Miss Karen, I told you I'm vegetarian. Of course her name is Karen. I mean, what would you expect? This is already such excellent writing right here. Do not be crazy. Eat the chicken. It's good for you. I've been vegetarian almost all my life. My dad is too. We don't believe in eating meat. It's not fair for the animals. I don't care. Eat the meat. It's good for you. I want my dad. Well, he's not here till Friday, so shut up. Oh, so we're gonna get a vegan message. Alright, I'm down for that. I mean, I'm not vegan myself, but maybe this video will convince me to be vegan. Who knows? Why can't you respect my decision of being vegetarian? Being a vegetarian is a disgrace in my family. <laughs> oh, I love the delivery of these lines. It's so good. I'm probably gonna be pausing like every five seconds or so for this video because all of it is just so much to take in and so little time. I only eat chicken and meat, and that's what you're gonna eat while I watch you. Why do you even have chickens if you're vegetarian? Wait, what? Why do you have chickens if you don't eat meat? Where did you get this chicken from? From the backyard. I chopped their heads off myself. What? No! What? No! <laughs> oh man, I love this video already, and it's only been like one minute so far. Just so much good acting, good writing, like you really gotta take it all in and appreciate it. But yeah, I'm kind of aware this might be a troll or bait post, but I don't care, I'm having fun with this. Jack, Toby, Sarah, Alice! No, she killed them! Hi Clyde. I'm sorry my nanny killed your wife. Whoa, hang on there. Wife? What, did she throw him a chicken wedding or something? Chickens can't have wives. I mean, maybe they can if you throw a chicken wedding for him, but why would you throw a chicken wedding? This doesn't make any sense. My immersion is ruined. How could you? And our friends. They didn't deserve to die. It's not fair, and I'm sorry. I wish I could feel like what it's like to be you. The pain you must go through? I'm so sorry, Clyde. At least you have your babies. I'm excited for you. Wait, where are they? Hey, Miss Karen, have you seen the baby chickens? Yep. They're right here. Wait, eggs we eat are usually unfertilized eggs. Otherwise, there would be chicken fetuses in there. So, how does this even make sense? How did she make eggs out of fertilized chicken eggs? This is really dumb. No! Those were the babies! How could you? I got hungry. They were just babies! I'm saving one for you tomorrow morning. No, please! Those are my friends! They're dead! And they're a good source of protein! I mean, a man's gotta eat, right? Tomorrow, we kill the other chicken. No! Not Clay! He's my friend! He's the only one who's been there for me! Alright, we're getting some character development here. So, this girl doesn't have any real friends. Instead, she just has chickens for friends. So that's why she's vegetarian. This is very interesting, you know. Very clever writing. I would not expect this from Hollywood. Very ambitious. Just 
10 out of 10 all the way through right here. Okay, I have a question. Where the heck do you even buy a whip? Like, where do you even get one? I don't understand. Maybe someone can correct me on this, but... I just don't understand where you can get a whip. I mean, guns? Like, yeah, that's pretty simple to figure out where you can buy one, but a whip... Just seems a little out of the ordinary. Doesn't really seem like a normal thing people would buy. I mean, I know we're talking about tomorrow's teachings right here, but... It's kind of breaking my immersion a little. You're getting a spanking! I mean, if we're gonna bring the Almighty into this, I don't think God's a vegetarian or vegan either. I mean, one of the first things he did was kill an animal so he could make Adam and Eve clothing, so I don't think he's gonna help you out right here. I wish, I wish I was a chicken. That's literally one of the stupidest things you could wish for, because chickens are one of the dumbest animals on the planet. That's mostly why we eat them, plus they taste really good. But also... What do you mean you wish you were a chicken while praying? Like, God's not like a genie, I don't think. Like, he doesn't grant wishes. I mean, yeah, he can pray, but that's not really the same thing. Layla, get up! You have to leave for school in 20 minutes. Chicken? 10 out of 10 wine delivery right there. Like, what? I'm a chicken? What? This is weird. No, like, I'm pretty sure you'd be a lot more surprised of finding out you're a chicken than just being mildly shocked. Once again, my immersion is broken. You need to do better tomorrow's teaching. Come on, I want you to succeed. How did this happen? Chicken, help me. You're dead, chicken. Okay, I know this woman is crazy and all, but if you just find a random chicken, your first instinct is to kill it. I mean, what if it belongs to someone else? What if it's someone else's chicken? Like, I don't know. Um, excuse me? Who are you? Can you understand me? Oh, no, I was not expecting the video to take a turn like this. I mean, maybe I should've, because this is a ridiculous concept. But, like, come on, really? Now she's just talking to the chicken? And, like, they can communicate? This is... What the... What am I watching? Do you know me? It's me, Layla, your owner. I got turned into a chicken somehow. It's so nice to be able to talk to you. You mean tell me that you're my owner and you got turned into a I chicken? I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. That is crazy. Say, if you want to come in? Clyde, I need your help. I can't be a chicken. I'm a little girl. I love the just emotionless chickens and like the camera pointing at them and they dub over them even though they're like looking around and moving their heads around like they're not really talking to each other it really adds to it i'm a human i can help you if you come in uh it's okay i don't buy it clyde what are you talking about i want to put my eggs in your little girl i want to rub my waddles on your little girl parts oh man now this chicken is a pedophile what what is this who came up with this and thought this is a good idea I mean, yeah, I know it's probably bait, but still, this is just bizarre. What the hell? 
Is this chicken being a pedophile gonna convince this girl to eat chickens now? Is that gonna be the moral of the story? Clyde, what are you doing? I thought we were friends. Oh, you make me feel young again. What? You know what I'm talking about, little chicken girl. Layla? Layla? Layla, where are you? If you don't come out now, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you if you don't come out. What the hell, man? Oh, this video is great. Why is she gonna kill her if she doesn't show herself? This doesn't make any sense. I mean, yeah, I know she's supposed to be an evil nanny, but this is just over the top. Who are you, who are you talking to like that? Oh, Angel, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here till tomorrow. I lost my job. I'm back early. Oh. So, who are you talking to like that? And where's Layla? Oh, it, it's, it's for my audition for... Scream 7. Okay, um, and Layla's in her room? Because she's gonna be late for school. Well, don't worry, I'm gonna go wake her up right now. She's such a sleepyhead. <laughs> okay, thanks, Karen. What are you doing out of your cage? It's okay, we're gonna put you back in with your friends, don't worry. I don't know how you even got out of here. Dad! Dad! Oh, Dad, yeah. No, it's me. Get her in here with me. <laughs> I gotta uh, say, the guy playing the pedophile chicken deserves an Oscar for this role. I love his performance right here. Need you to make that golden egg, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bend over just like that. Come on, man. Karen! Karen? Layla? I walked back inside and they were both gone. And you really think she kidnapped Layla? Yes. Alrighty then, we'll keep an eye out for her. Have a good day. Wait, hold up. What is that light underneath his shirt? Is that his microphone? They didn't think to try to hide that? Like, how did they not know how to hide that? You can very obviously see it. Without you guys, our channel's nothing. We love all of our fans. Oh, no way. They have merch. I gotta buy that merch. I got to. I need it. I need that merch. No one's gonna get the joke, but I just need it for myself. You can get our merch in the link below. Hey, fool, I already scoped this place out and we're good, fool. What if the owner, like, has a gun? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you gotta love these racist caricatures they come up with here. <laughs> what if the owner has like a gun? <laughs> what were they thinking? That is like the most racist they could have come across. We just opened the kufu. We just grabbed the chicken and run out of there, eh? Yeah. It's just a dad and daughter who lives here, eh? Yeah. Let's do this, fool. I bet, fool. Let's do this. Hey, bro. Let's go get the chicken, bro. Let's go, fool. That one chicken right now, fool, grab it! Grab the homie! Let's go, meet fool! Who are you guys? Let me go! Put that bag over, fool! I don't really think you need to put a bag over the chicken's head. I'm not really sure if that animal is capable of keeping track of where it's going or where it's going to be if you put it in a car. I don't know. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. 
plus, what is this guy's plan? Just steal a chicken just because you're not even gonna eat it or anything? Well, money up. Let's get this started, boys. Come on, come on. Give me that. I can't fight. I'm just a kid. We're gonna be killed. So what are you suggesting? <laughs> okay, I love the other chicken's voice too. Just clearly a man trying to make his voice high pitched to sound like a woman, like you see in cartoons. Just, just great. I love it. There's no point in fighting. Win or lose, we'll both still be killed. I got money on a big dog. We have to use teamwork. It's the only way we'll survive. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Follow my lead. I'll make a diversion. Chicken friend, run! Ah, get the stick out of my face! Ah. Hold that, hold that chicken still! <laughs> Man, whoever edited this sure likes to use the cut to black for all the pivotal moments. Where are you? <laughs> what are you doing out here? How do you keep getting out? <sighs> of Layla so much. <laughs> yeah, this chicken reminds me of my daughter, you know. It reminds me how much of a tiny brain she has. You remind me of Layla so much, I miss her. <gasps> Holy crap, it all happened so suddenly. I did not expect him to kiss the chicken. And right when he started, I didn't expect him to actually do it. And then it brought her back to being a human. What is this? Why did they come up with this? I mean, yeah, like I said, this is probably bait, probably a troll, but I don't care. This is top-tier content, and I just want to know their creative process behind this video. That's all I'm saying. I mean, did they get high and then come up with this or something? Because I will not doubt it. Layla! Dad! Oh my god. What happened? I don't know. I just woke up as a chicken. I thought you were gone forever. How did you turn into a chicken? I made a stupid wish, and I'm sorry. Oh, I missed you. I love you, Layla. I can't believe that. No more. Don't do that again. Okay, Dad. Layla experienced a reversal, turning her back to human form. Layla and her dad were grateful that everything was back to normal. But, unfortunately, Layla got pregnant. What in the heck? What? She got pregnant from the pedophile chicken? Are you serious? That's the dark turn the story is taking? I did not expect that. This has everything. This video has everything you could ever want. It has this plot twist. It has great acting. A great premise. Everything you could ever want out of a YouTube video. Honestly, everyone go subscribe to them right now. When she was in the coop with Clyde the chicken, she was raped. Layla had laid eggs herself, and now waits for them to be hatched. That is really disturbing, honestly. The fact that she laid eggs, too. And what, are they gonna be like half-human chicken hybrid monster things? Cause... I sure hope they show that, that'd be awesome. Hey guys, we hope you enjoy that crazy story. Life may present us with unexpected challenges, transforming us into versions we never anticipated. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for the love and support. We love all you guys. Comment your thoughts about this video and subscribe to tomorrow's teachings. Well, you heard it here. Go subscribe to them. Honestly, they deserve it for making this masterpiece of a video. Just, just 10 out of 10 video right here. I just love this video so much. It was so good. So many twists and turns. 
Although my one critique is, what does any of this have to do with being vegetarian or converting people to being vegetarian? What was even the lesson? There was no lesson. How is this called tomorrow's teachings if there's no lesson? If they're not teaching me anything? But yeah, that's about it for this video. Like, this was a doozy. Like, holy crap. But that's about all I have for now. So yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.